Hi there, and welcome to a quick introduction to live programming with Overtone. Overtone supports an interactive workflow where triggering instruments such as this piano is as simple as writing their name. We can easily specify and play chords using an intuitive and readable syntax. Here we're playing C3 major, followed by C3 minor. A useful feature for live programming platforms is the ability to schedule future events. Here, we request that C3 minor is played 1 second or 1000 milliseconds from now. This technique can be used to build chord progressions such as the following. Overtone is built on top of the SuperCollider sound synthesis engine, allowing us to design synths such as this simple envelope sine wave on the fly. Notice how the documentation appears in line as part of the editing process. This allows live programmers to maintain focus without having to switch apps or windows as part of their performance workflow. Overtone is written in a highly modernised version of Lisp called Clojure. This provides us with an extremely rich and succinct set of operational semantics, such as this for comprehension. Here we're working through all of the notes from 0 to 110, playing our beat with excessively larger separation times and pitches. We can also easily add some randomization. We're not limited to working with such simple synthesis techniques. Here's a synth built using car plus strong string synthesis. Let's use it to play the following Reich phase pattern. We can represent the elements of the phase pattern using key and scale independent intervals. These can be easily resolved to MIDI notes using an interval to pitch function by specifying a specific key and scale, such as C4 diatonic in this case. In order to play this pattern, we'll use a technique often seen in impromptu called temporal recursion. We create a function that takes a time to play a note, a list of all the notes to play, and a separation time between the notes of parameters. The first thing we do in this function is to grab the first note and check whether it exists. If it doesn't, it must be a rest, so we ignore it. If it does, we schedule it to be played by the pluck string at the specified time. Next, we schedule the function to call itself again at a later time. This new time is the summation of the current time and the separation time. When we call ourselves again, we pass this new time, the rest of the notes to play, and the separation time as parameters. We can easily call this function, starting off at now, with our right pattern pitches and a separation time. In order to make this into a more authentic Reich phase, we need to do three things. Firstly, we need to start two patterns simultaneously. Secondly, we need to specify a slightly different separation time for each. And thirdly, we need to continuously repeat the patterns. Here we're using a let statement to bind a common starting time and calling our play function twice with different separation times. We also cycle our pitches to create an infinite lazy sequence of notes. Of course, you can still play around and modify the synths in real time whilst it's running. Thanks for watching.